Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. This is Travis Wood at Grover Real Estate, and I am down here at 4234 II Road on the Garden Peninsula. We're just past Fayette. This property is listed with Grover Real Estate. Listing agent is myself, Travis Wood. It's an awesome home, as good as it gets when it comes to a rural listing. The house has tons to offer, and I can't wait to get inside and show it to you guys. We are Gonna jump right in and I guess uh, get right in there and show you guys what we got here. Okay, so I've walked into the front door here and you're greeted by this little foyer area. Real practical spot to come in and kick off your shoes in the winter time, keep your snow boots and everything off here. You won't be tracking mud or snow into the house. So very convenient for the lifestyle up here for sure. The door through here goes to the garage huge detached garage or attached garage rather which we'll head out to in a moment and the door out there heads right into the backyard which as you can see there's a large fenced in area if you have any pets or anything like that it's a great place for dogs to roam but we'll head right into the house and check that out before we uh, walk through the yard so as soon as you walk in you enter into this kind of laundry utility room very nice washer and dryer included in the sale you can tell right off the bat that the floors are in super good condition. They were recently redone. The sellers did a really good job of choosing high quality LVP, which looks great. It's easy maintenance and it's basically built to last a lifetime, but it looks awesome. And again, we'll kind of pan back through here to this utility room. You can see there's lots of space in here. Huge closet right there for coats and storage. Plenty of room right here if you wanted to put a little table or something to fold laundry, but otherwise it's just a nice open space. You can see kind of a photo of when the home was first built. Um, not terribly old though, it was built in the 70s. So I think it was late 70s. So still a relatively newer home, not, not you know, getting too far back there. As soon as you walk out of the utility room, you're greeted by the large kitchen. It's in a kind of horseshoe shape, which is super efficient. You can stand right at your double stainless steel sink looking out over the backyard. And either direction, you can reach, grab your pots, pans, dishes, whatever. All your cabinets kind of surround you. You can see there's a beautiful view. That's about as good as it gets for... Rural living, the house sits on seven acres, which I believe I mentioned before, it's actually a little bit over seven acres. So every window kind of looks out to those expansive views out to the back. Huge kitchen, as you can probably tell, there's lots of room for me to walk around here. Definitely would be space right there for a little table, little breakfast table or something like that. Could maybe even fit a little bit of a kitchen island in here, but for now it's open and airy and definitely serves its function. And as you turn around, there is a powder room right off the kitchen. Kind of tucked away here in private. Just a decent sized bathroom. There's a closet there for some linens, towels, paper towel, whatever you need to store. Vanity there and a window. So heading out of the kitchen, we're now in the living room. You can see we just went from there into here. And as you can tell, it's a very nice, generous space. They've mixed up the LVP in here, so it's a little bit different and it runs in a different direction. There's definitely more of an ashy gray kind of driftwood color in the utility room in the kitchen. And in here, it's a really warm, really, really pretty kind of reddish brown color plays really well with the walls you can see they've got it decorated very appropriately for the setting very rustic very woodsy super inviting and super cozy the windows let in a ton of natural light 
but the light fixtures that they've chose are super cool. You can tell that they've recently redone this. This, I believe, had some structural beams in through there. So rather than remove the entire thing and reconfigure, they chose to work with what they had and they got creative and created this really, really cool bar area, which kind of makes a bit of a distinction between the living and the dining space. So you could have some bar stools on this side. They do have some over here. Really cool area, very functional to sit at, kind of drink your morning coffee, pop open your laptop there. Um, you could eat a meal here. You could really use it for whatever. I, I personally really like this and they did a really nice job building it. It was all custom built. Anyway, back to the living space here. You can see there's no shortage of space. They've got tons of room in here. They've got quite a bit of furniture, but there's definitely room for whatever you have. If you have a large sectional or you have a lot of smaller pieces, there's no, not going to be any issue fitting it all into this space. As we pan around, you can tell this is another front door, kind of more of a formal entrance. Although I imagine most of the time in your day-to-day -day living, you'd be going through the side door. One really cool thing about this house as well, which is kind of unique, is it does have its own security system that is included with the sale. So you can tell there's four cameras on different sections in the yard, as well as the front door, which is really, really nice. Um, you can kind of keep tabs on your property and definitely something that I think would be attractive for a lot of people. You can um, kind of see the comings and goings and have that little bit of extra security, which certainly never hurts. Pan around through here to the large dining room. You can tell there would be plenty, plenty of space to put a large dining room table here. I bet you could seat up to 10 people in this room, maybe even more for a Thanksgiving feast or Christmas feast. And again, looking back out onto the view, I'm gonna crack this. Can't beat it. View as far as the eyes can see. The property line does go back, I don't know if you can tell from the video, to about the fence line there, and then it runs quite a bit horizontally and even extends beyond um, almost to where you can't even see anymore. So it's a huge chunk of property, really gorgeous view, very peaceful out here, super quiet. And again, I know I mentioned it before, but there's a huge fenced in area if you've got a couple dogs or any pets. Um, really convenient to not have to worry about them. They could go out and run around and enjoy the outside without, you know, taking off into the field or anything. So we hook around to the right. We have an additional bathroom here. Shower tub combo. Vanity with the mirror and toilet kind of tucked away around the corner here. Lots of storage in here. Plenty of light. It opens right back up into the living space. And as you go to the end of the home, you'll see the two bedrooms. There's one off to the right and one off to the left. Both bedrooms, I believe, identical in size, extra spacious, both of them. Plenty of closet space. And kind of tucked away at the end of the house, which makes it nice and quiet. So you don't have any distractions if people are coming and going to work and you're still sleeping in. You're kind of tucked away at the end of the house here and you can sleep soundly. Okay, now that we've wrapped up the interior of the home, I will take you guys out into the garage, which is super impressive. I guess before we head out there, let's get a closer look at this fenced in dog run area. Ton of space out here, smells great. Smells like freshly mowed grass, gotta love it. It's a little bit of a rainy day earlier, but it looks like it's cleared up for our video, which is great. You can tell they got a little picnic table there. You could easily build a deck off the dining space and enjoy dinner out here or a glass of wine, watch the sunset, drink your coffee, I guess whatever you'd like. We'll head in through here. And into the garage. So this garage is super impressive. It's absolutely massive. You can tell there's the two doors right off the front and tons of little features. I couldn't believe it when the seller was walking me through this garage and explaining all the little details to me. So I guess ultimately right off the bat, you'll notice that it's duct. There's tons of duct work here for heat. 
There is a wood stove in the back, which we'll go show you. It's a wood stove. Otherwise, there's a propane hookup right next to it. So you could have this garage heated with either wood or propane, no problem. There is also some electric heat as well as solar heat in here. You can kind of see the electric back there. And there is a heat source way over there, which is solar. So I can't say in all the garages that I've been in that I've ever seen one with four different heat sources, but here we are. This one can say that it does. Tons of storage through here. There is a bathroom in here off the garage. So if you're out working on projects or anything, you don't have to go in the house. You can stay out here in your heated garage working on your projects. And obviously there's tons of space. Plenty of room for hunting supplies, woodworking supplies, whatever. Kind of go through the back here. And there's an additional room. I think it's already pretty apparent that there's no shortage of storage space out here or working space. I mean, there's the wood shop over there. There's this absolutely massive garage with the bathroom. And then there's this additional space off the back. And under here, there's a covered area for firewood. Super nice, no matter if it rains, snows, whatever, your firewood's gonna stay dry. And here's the heat sources I was explaining earlier. This one's wood, and I believe that's what's currently hooked up. This one is propane, and it would be very simple to just go back and switch the one to the other would be absolutely not a problem. And it never hurts to have options, that's for sure. Okay, and we are back out into the front yard, kind of where we started the video. I'm just gonna give you guys kind of a walkthrough of the yard and the property now that we've wrapped up the interior as well as the garage. I guess while we're on the topic of garages, I will mention just when you thought you've seen it all, there's another garage. So there's not only the massive attached garage with multiple rooms off of it, but there's this huge detached garage as well. Really cool feature, this is an archery range. So you can kind of practice your shot, sharpen up your skills here right from the comfort of your backyard. And there is a shooting range as well. You can kind of see it in the distance. They've mowed a path there. So lots of little activities you can do in your backyard here if you're uh, into archery or shooting. It's definitely the property for you kind of pan around to the back of the house. Because of the way that the house and the garage is laid out, it's super private back here. It's kind of in an L shape. You could come in and hang out back here, get an outdoor patio set, and you'd never see anybody. Not that that's really a concern anyway, because obviously we're in a super rural location, really beautiful down here, just past Fayette on the Garden Peninsula. Another thing that's really cool down here is that the weather tends to stay quite a bit warmer and nicer than it does further north. Every time I come down here, it's a little bit warmer, a little bit sunnier, and just all around a little bit nicer. They tend to have longer growing seasons and nicer weather, which in the UP definitely is appreciated. We'll take every bit of summer that we can get. Little fire pit there, as you can sit here, look out over the view, have a fire, maybe make some s'mores. Just gonna kind of keep walking around the yard might take a second because obviously as you can tell it's a really large yard got a mature apple tree over there there's also one right out front as well as some smaller fruit trees which are just getting established something to look forward to in the future is watching your little home orchard take off and I just keep going and going and going I mean check out the yard I know I keep harping on it but it's so nice so big for somebody that's looking for kind of a secluded rural home that you can spread out and roam, if you've got kids or pets, or even if it's just one or two people, it certainly does not hurt to have this extra space to get out, stretch your legs, and enjoy the beautiful scenery that we have in the Upper Peninsula, and more specifically, the Garden Peninsula. Again, I know I just mentioned, but we're located just past Fayette down on the Garden Peninsula. Kind of view towards the front of the house. You can see the roof is in great shape. 
And it's definitely a cool listing, awesome house. I think it would be super cozy for a variety of buyers. I could see this working for a lot of people. All right, I thank you guys for watching this tour. If you have any questions about this fantastic property or any other properties that we have listed or are currently on the market, you can feel free to reach out to me. My name is Travis Wood. I'm a real estate agent at Grover Real Estate. My number is 906-450-5080. You can also reach our office at 906-341-2131. And if you have, like I said, any specific questions, I would love to hear from you. I could send you maps, disclosures, whatever. And again, I thank you for watching this video and enjoy the rest of your day.